YouTube, what's going on? My name is Kevin the Tech Ninja, and if you have AT&T Pay As You Go, you may experience something that I experienced with my OnePlus One. So with my phone, I actually did not have the opportunity to have 4G. It was always set to HSPA. I'm gonna show you the APN settings that are correct to get 4G on non-supported 4G phones for AT&T Pay As You Go. All right, we're gonna slide down our notification panel. We're gonna to head to settings, mobile networks. Then you wanna to go to access point names. All right, we're gonna use ATT phone, all capital letters, phone, ATT phone. Anything else in here, we're not looking for it. We wanna use this one right here. So I'm gonna modify it and make your settings look like mine. So head up to the plus sign, click on plus, and then from here you can make a new one, okay? Make it look just like this one. Name, ATT phone, APN, proxy port, username, password, server, nothing in there. MMSC is HTTP colon slash slash mmsc.mobile.att.net, MMS proxy, proxy.mobileatt.net, MMS port 80, MCC 310, MNC 410, not set, not set, IPv4, IPv4, and unspecified and none. All right, guys, everything else is written down below, but these are the settings that I use to get 4G LTE on non-supported 4G phones. Now, the little signal went away because it's actually recalculating it, but I do have full 4G bars in here now. All right, guys, that is it. My name is Kevin the Tech Ninja. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more great videos, tips and tricks, and giveaways. Take care, guys.